Good morning. Today is Monday, May 18th, 2020, Monday of the sixth week of Easter. As Jesus continued his last supper discourse with his disciples, he made a promise to them. He said, I will not leave you orphans. I will pray to the Father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, even the spirit of truth. After his ascension, which we will celebrate this coming Sunday, although it falls this Thursday. The disciples waited for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Day, which we will celebrate on May 31st. They waited so that they may receive power and move on to proclaim the gospel. The Spirit of God, the third person of the Most Blessed Trinity, is the comforter we all need today. It is the Spirit that inspires. He fortifies us to remain faithful in these troubling times. He enlightens us to a deeper understanding of the mysteries of God as well as our own personal relationship with God. He gives us utterance to speak the truth and preach the gospel. The Spirit brings peace to our hearts, calms our fears, puts a new song of praise in our hearts, and empowers us to lay down our life for the sake of another. It was not enough for our loving God that He gave us His Son. He also gave us his spirit so that he can remain in our hearts always. And by remaining in our hearts, he brings about a transformation of life in each of us. At baptism, as our lives are transformed, each of us receives the Holy Spirit who sanctifies us. And at confirmation, he strengthens us to bear witness to Christ. Moreover, the actions of the Holy Spirit are not one-time events in our lives. They are rather to be renewed and deepened throughout our lives because God's ultimate goal is to bring us to himself. So, as we look forward to Pentecost Sunday, what area of your life needs to be strengthened by this Spirit? Perhaps a novena to the Holy Spirit will draw his power into your life in this season. Amen? Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all.